sound of a school bell echoes through the old brick and wood building in a room that once held class in the 1850s as the first publicly funded school in the state. She opened it with six students. And the reason that there was only six students was because there was this, um, public schools were perceived as pauper schools. So therefore there wasn't a big rush to get here. The Clara Barton School was of course founded by Clara Barton from Heightstown, a woman who taught the first classes there during a time when public schools weren't exactly popular. But her success as a teacher and an organizer raised the popularity for her school, and within two years, Bordentown agreed to fund a new school building. It was funded by the people of the town, which meant it was recognized that public education was a needed thing, and it shouldn't just be available to the rich and the children of the rich. The original location of the Clara Barton School stood on the present day grounds of the McFarland Junior School. And although only open for just two years, the citizens of Bordentown knew the Clara Barton School was an important part of history. So they organized a campaign in 1921 that moved and preserved the building in its current spot, down a block on Crosswicks in Burlington. Where children from all over New Jersey split sent a penny each. And each, all those pennies meant the school A could be moved up here, B could be completely rebuilt and refurbished, and C that the fencing and the well put in. Even today, students are brought in the old schoolhouse to learn lessons about Clara Barton. At least twice in their uh, educational program, the students are brought here either for a lesson or for just a presentation on Clara Barton. Dubbed the angel of the battlefield, Clara Barton left Bordentown to distribute medical supplies during the Civil War and later went on to found the American Red Cross. 